Uh, Lauren, it's been difficult to track updates from loved ones still in the country as folks here continue to speak out and draw attention to the ongoing war. Crisp choreography, a road away from chaos. All my family was, was running under bombs, so we left everything except on the car. Uh, this was the only one way to escape. Natalia Rusichenko's family fled Donetsk on the front lines of Russia's invasion. A UN report states there have been more than 30,000 Ukrainian civilians injured or killed in the past two years. It's very hard to kind of be in on a distance and kind of just uh, consume that kind of uh, information. The war has caused heavy damage to schools, hospitals, and residences. The building where I live in was fully occupied by uh, Russian troops. Natalia Bondarenko left the country months into the fighting. Now she's helping raise funds and awareness from afar, working with the UNC Center for Slavic, Eurasian and East European Studies. Its director, Graham Robertson, detailing the disparity in artillery. The Russians have 10 uh, shells for every one that the Ukrainians are, are able to fire in part because we've not been holding up our end of the deal to support them. American officials have said a failure to pass a new aid bill could lead to Ukraine ending up dangerously short on ammo and defense capabilities by the spring. And if Russia's not stopped here, Russia will have to be stopped somewhere else. And so this is, for Ukrainians, existential, but for Americans, it's, it's extremely important. There's going to be a candlelight vigil and rally tomorrow afternoon in Raleigh in support of Ukraine. The UNC Center for Slavic, Eurasian and East European Studies hosting a film screening next week, which documents the initial days of that invasion. In Durham, I'm Michael Perchik, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.